I'm waiting at the show with my arms wide open Wind blowing in my hair, let the sea salt soak in Coming on me full force, do this with my eyes closed, yeah Just like that, do it like that Cause when I catch that Siddhesh sir is busy for now. He's taking some lecture, I guess. So he will be free in 10 to 20 minutes or 5 minutes, whatsoever. Then we'll meet him. And I'm eagerly waiting to meet him. I'm meeting him after like two and a half or one and a half month. So yeah. Ah, what the flip challenge? <laughs> बेसिकली अभी क्या हो रहा है ना सर कि मतलब बहुत ही वो हो गया है एकदम नील हो गया है कुछ कुछ मतलब प्रॉब्लम पहला ये हो रहा है कि जितने मेंबर्स थे मतलब वो तो अभी तो कम हो गए फिलहाल कम हो गए और मतलब प्रॉपर लोग हैं अभी जो पहले जिन्हें अच्छा काम भी किया ना पहले तो वही लोग हैं बट अभी उनमें भी क्या हो रहा है कि जिससे आपने बोला था कि स्टार्टिंग प्रॉब्लम आएगा कि अभी 
आधे लोग का जॉब्स है ठीक है कुछ कुछ लोग का अभी जस्ट ग्रेजुएशन हुआ है उनका जॉब्स का प्रॉब्लम है और फिर बाकी दो दो तीन लोग जो है मतलब वो लोग टाइम नहीं दे पा रहे मतलब टाइम का बहुत इशू हो रहा है कोई दिन पे मिलना है डिसाइड कर रहे हैं तो कोई बिजी है कोई ये टाइम पे बिजी है मतलब एक ऐसे एक परफेक्ट टाइम भी नहीं मिल रहा है कि सब मिल पाए तो वही मतलब कुछ काम हो ही नहीं पा रहा है जिससे मैं आपको पता कि मैं वापस स्क्रैच से चालू करने को देख रहा हूँ उस टेलर तो स्क्रैच से भी चालू करने को प्रॉब्लम यही हो रहा है कि मतलब कोई टाइम नहीं दे पा रहा है और किसका थॉट प्रोसेस है ही नहीं इसमें मतलब हर चीज़ वही हो गया इंडिया एंड सिर्फ मेरे पर ही आ रहा है मुझे ही करना पड़ रहा है तो वो एक बहुत बड़ा इशू हो रहा है अभी फिलहाल you cannot force anyone to work for you one and you cannot ask for conveniences as well for example the fact that i mentioned you cannot force anyone ka matlab hai ki no matter how brilliant that person is or no matter how genuine that person is it is a very instinctive process so people will not come and there are a lot of people who will come and ask you ki kaam de mujhe hmm. and there will be people who will be like i want to do this Hmm. so for example there are a lot of aspects in a particular ngo ya for example any work you do so if you want to make it famous there are a lot of people who will capture there are a lot of people who will kind of contribute through music there will be people who will edit it for you there will be a lot of people who will contribute by just conceptualizing things for you so it is never a planned process till a point where you are confirm with your aim like for example we are talking now but we are trying to figure out a solution for what stellar is all about and how it needs to function or something like that or else the talk which we will have is eventually meaningless correct so what we need to understand is to start with have a crystallized aim of what you want to achieve se zyada what you want to make an impact for there are a lot of ngos who work for uh, education aspects there are a lot of ngos who work for sports there are a lot of ngos who work for basic basic living hmm. like getting lights se leke lights in the village se leke getting food to the needy tak bahut sare aspects hain understand who your user is first of all second understand what are their needs and then third see what best you can do for them for example I remember one of your projects where you uh, did a workshop and then there was a music performance happening etc that is what is you how are you going to bring a change in that particular element to improve by your activities for example in our case we used to conduct workshops in remote villages that workshop used to help them get acquainted to activities like fashion designing and everything which they can in future perceive it as a career and then work towards it and then probably go ahead and make use of it in education one but if it fails there there's no problem they can still might as well stitch clothes design clothes sell them at least in their known acquaintances mm. so understand or aim first सिंपल बहुत सिंपल है कि मुझे करना क्या है एंड अंडरस्टैंड योर एक्सपर्टीज यू नो दैट यू कैन मेक अ गुड वीडियो ब्लॉग यू कैन मेक गुड कैप्चर्स यू कैन पुट इट अक्रॉस टू द वर्ल्ड सो पुट समथिंग अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड विच इज़ वेरी इंस्पायरिंग नाउ हाउ टू इंस्पायर इज डोंट फॉल इन टू थिंग्स विच विल विच विल काइंड ऑफ इंस्पायर यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर योर पैशंस दैट्स इट for example you know what you want to travel mm. keep traveling people will get inspired by you but the moment you stop traveling or the moment you stop doing something which you are good at you yourself will feel stagnant and that eventually leads to a lot of uh stagnancy and then that stagnancy continues for your depression and the frustration level ki yaar kuch ho nahi raha hai fir main hi kyun akela karu aur koi kuch kyun nahi kar raha but it is always about you yourself so if you want to do a project next time and you know that it is you who need to do a project next time you will have to script it in a way that it revolves around you people will come they'll help they'll go but unless there are lot of these people who carry a same set of aims mm. where where they know where to reach for example 
in our case we have a school as a dream so we are all working towards it and we know that we are not going to stop by doing one workshop two workshops our eventual aim is to crystallize a concept of how a school should be considering our examples where we all know how what mm-hmm. kind of education system we have been through yeah to wo sab samajh ke we need to do something new for the coming generations where they can enjoy going to the school and actually learn and not just go to the school and come back so there are a lot of these alternative school concepts of how learning can be fun and genuine that whatever they learn is getting executed in their practical life that is when it starts happening i get it but ek aur bhi problem hai like ki jo abhi jo filhal the team hai like i know they all are genuine they want to work for it and like they will work for it but the problem is time management like i can manage my time and everything because but they are not able to do it so it's kind of you know getting really frustrated for them also and for me also because we wanted to do a small event or something like this month or may end or in june month but i i think like we we need to postpone it because we are not getting time to plan about it you know and get everything done so there there, two things. there is one is priority hmm. and the second thing is a uh, being very genuine what i mean by that is priority wise see for example if i have a wedding to attend and if i have a stellar project happening i need to prioritize stellar depending on whose wedding it is hmm where i know that okay that person no matter how best he, he is or she is hmm. she will eventually understand second thing when i meant by being genuine it's all about knowing within whether i want to do that thing or not for example if i wish to go and teach in a remote area right now i will be fascinated about it but i know what my priorities are so your planning eventually should be based on your priorities so the time management becomes simpler so for example if i'm committed to you on a particular date ki bhai june ke end mein hamara ye workshop hone wala hai then everything around me gets sealed off unless there are extreme unavoidable circumstances that's what i'm trying to you know convey to them and you know make them understand that i know you have you have to go there you have to, you have this you have that but make your priorities very clear so the first but thing the problem know, is at some times they really have to go for something important or family function or anything like that but sometimes like they give silly excuses like ki subah uthne uthne nahi ho raha hai office ja ke ya to sunday morning nahi aa sakte hum log ye time pe nahi aa sakte silly reasons jo ki you know valuable nahi hai to at that time i get a little frustrated not because ki they are not coming because but because of them mera kaam ruk raha hai like so silly reasons and excuses comes when there is no passion tomorrow you must have realized when we were in school getting up early and going to school was painful than getting up early and going to play football hmm going to play football is eventually a passion which everyone loves to do so there is no need to like no need where your mom needs to for you don't need you need to you get forcefully up yeah. it is exactly the same for these kind of works and with this actually you need to realize that these people are not meant for this work though their feelings and those people are not bad it's it's simple that your passion level and frequency will be different from others i know they, they, that it will never be matched because so it it's your matter. baby they will so not it, exactly if it is your baby you have to take care you have of to it take care and of it. you have to drive the ship there will be people who will be traveling with you or without you so hmm. they are traveling any which way you need to travel your journey so what i feel is right now it's very simple even if you have one person with you and if you know that a project is possible just go ahead and do it don't wait for people to respond and to kind of communicate with you and come and tell you no i want to be a part of it what you need to ideally do is if you know that there is an idea in your mind you know these are the people who can help you ask them if they can't substitute them and if there is no one ask yourself whether you can still run the show if you can go ahead run the show finish it off there are there are lot of things which in which you waste a lot of time where planning takes a lot of time mm. and eventually the project never happens 
I feel it is not about that. I feel if you want to do something, you just do it and finish it off. And what will happen is the more number of projects you do, the more number of loopholes you come across in the early stage, which is very efficiently filled in the later. And hence, older the NGO, the better it functions. Yeah, so I am just thinking about that only key, whether I should, you know, keep them on board or whether I should... You should not kill anyone. <laughs> I am not... Like, keep... not, killing matlab, not like throw anyone throw, out no, no, tell them See, no, you But I am very unemotional related to this because okay. I am not bringing into my, rela- my relation with them, my friendship with them and everything. I love and respect them. But if regarding this and Stellar, you know, I am thinking I have... I've been questioning myself ki whether I should keep them on board or not. No. Some of them because in fact, what they are, I will suggest if they are not, you know, ready to sacrifice or sacrifice in the sense they are not ready to, you know, clearly list their priorities according to it. So I cannot work. They cannot work and I can work with it, but they cannot. That's that's your answer actually. For example, don't uh, call it where you need to tell them that I will not keep you on board or I'll keep you on board or even you don't visualize it like this I don't want to work with them No, I don't visualize it Correct So what you need to do is like I said conceptualize the project see the number of people who can be a part of it and not be a part of it it is still fine See, people are not bad or they are not deliberately not helping you Hmm. I understand that Like for example, today someone comes and asks your help and if you are not genuinely able to like visualize his passion as yours Hmm. you will not be an equal contributor to it So what I'll tell you is that whatever you want to do in future be it even making a vlog or be it even making a simple a music video Hmm. just conceptualize it for yourself prepare yourself on all the aspects see if you need a particular person's help then approach these people and get their help done a lot of instances what happens is there are people who are ready to work but they don't know what to work at mm. so that situation is further difficult because then aisa hota hai ki log to hai sab kuch hai lekin kaam nahi ho raha to wo kaam karwane wala jo hota hai ya fir kya karna hai exactly that you need to get clear, clarified with you yourself first as a mm. captain of the ship and then you take them for a ride that's what I feel so. and uh, there are different people who, with, who come with different assets it is like having an IPL team with four overseas players having different assets mm. and yet every IPL team is special mm. because no matter how many games you lose there will be one special game which can turn things around mm. so be it a football league, be it anything. There are people who are meant for certain roles. Hmm. Just give them those roles and jobs. And you will see that suddenly things are working out magic for you. So, wait, I, I don't hate them, but yeah. I am just thinking ki you whether I should... You can't depend on them by saying... I am not depending you, also them. Hai, ah, I was be- like ah. that before, but I am not right now. So, I am not forcing them ki you need to do this or that. But I just want them to take out some time. Like I, I, you know, in the last previous meeting, I told I told them ki in one month you you just take out two or three days or maximum or minimum one day for stellar. Keep everything aside that day and please give two or three hours. That's more than enough so that we can plan ahead. To further simplify this, what you can also do is give them a specific date ki 19th of this month at this time I have done that Haan. so you need to have backup plans that if they don't turn up what is your backup plan hmm. Haan, there are certain people who are like uh, like cannot be substituted hmm. but then you need to respect that fact ki nahin, chal hai. there will be one day where the times will match and it will come out working so it's about patience also these things See, I'll tell you why. Because this is secondary to a lot of people, including you. Secondary ka matlab hai, there are certain priorities. Hmm. And that is the reason why they are called priorities. Hmm. So, ho ne de, normal. And I'll also tell you one thing. The moment you people see projects happening, na, there are a lot of these genuine people who will start making their schedules prioritizing you. But if there is a lot of stagnancy, then even people get a value where uh, or a judgment that this person is serious so he is not doing anything for a long time he doesn't have any genuinity 
you need to have that passion to bloody make sure that it is executed the day when you want it to be happening and the moment it happens trust me the next project there will be two more walk-ins to help you out and suddenly you realize that people can be substituted but there are certain people who are like the core of the crew and the think tank they cannot mess up and then that is the time when you need to be genuine enough have transparent communications uh, make sure your commitments are fulfilled and being disciplined about it and it it works well the only problem the last thing you said discipline i think that the only problem in them for for being right now mm-hmm. is that discipline only like they are and priority also like they are in not fact, prioritizing everything uh, in lot of these communications uh, in lot of these communications you are using a term called them and me the moment that them and me will conclude to us hmm. is the time when things will move i feel that is the biggest loophole right now hmm. try and work on that when it becomes us it will be a different perception altogether